Welcome to Backwards News. Rants you can trust. We want to start off with a brief moment of silence for the victims of the shooting in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Hey, look, there's my buddy Kyle. He's a nice, cool guy. He's the kind of guy you want your daughter to marry. But he might kill her the next day. Because Kyle's an active shooter. He enjoys killing people. Now, we're going to go deep into why a nice guy like this We'll go out and kill someone. Well, so far, the story I heard says that Kyle lives in Illinois. So he decided to drive from Illinois to Wisconsin to the protests where he stated to news reporters while he was holding his rifle that he was protecting businesses from looters. He's going to protect the buildings. Now, I've told you once before, if you've been watching my show, I don't care about a damn building. I don't want no one to lose a son, a daughter, a brother, a sister over a damn building, over a TV set. But Kyle, he's what they call a new patriot. Now, these new patriots, they're not cops. They're not deputies. They're bad guys with a gun. And when you see them, get out of their way. Because they'll drive hundreds of miles to go to another city that they don't live in so they can shoot somebody. Now, America is a sick place. So like I said, we created a new category of a killer. It's called the New American Patriot. That's the new category. These patriots, these new patriots, they believe they have a calling They believe they're on a mission. They believe in and romanticize about war. And they can't wait to have an opportunity to murder someone. And I don't know if you've noticed or not, but these new patriots, all the people they murder are people that are defenseless, that do not have guns. They walk up to you and shoot you, or they run you over with their cars. And they say they were defending a building or that you were you were harassing them. So they had to defend themselves and kill you. All they are is a new breed of psychopaths. Now, I'm used to the old killers. Now, the old killers were people that were poor. They were poor, and they say, well, I'm going to sell drugs, and I'm going to shoot somebody and take their car so I can have some money. Oh, no, no, these new killers, they these new patriots, this killer will kill you over an idea. The idea of America and freedom, or at least that's their excuse. And and they fight for freedom of speech as long as you're not saying something they don't like, because then they'll shoot you in the head. So like I said in my last video, they're attracted 
to a war zone, to chaos and conflict, because they can ease in, kill somebody and walk right out and they don't get noticed. And, and it'll just be a murder mystery. So Kyle, he eased in and said he's def he's defending the empty buildings so, so nobody tears up the buildings. And, he, and if you come near the building, he's going to kill you. So he did it. He killed two people and wounded another person. Then after he killed them, he just went home. It was over. The rush was over with. He just went home. He had his feel for the day. He'll wait till next week to the next protest, kill some more people. But uh-uh, they called him this time. They called him this time. Now, Kyle is 17 years old. So we'll see. When I was 17, I was riding my bike to my girl's friend's house. I was going fishing. I was cutting grass. While Kyle was cleaning the M16s, driving hundreds of miles to protest to shoot people. What's the problem here? What's the problem here? It's a big, it's a big difference going on between my generation and his generation. So now we're going to play 50 questions. I don't have 50 questions. We're going to play 50 questions. How does a 17 year old get an M16 or AR-15 if you want to be politically correct. I'm not sure exactly what he had. How does a 17 year old get a rifle? They say he's from Illinois. So I asked Google. Google said in Illinois, you have to be 18 to purchase a rifle. And you have to have a FOID card where they do a background check on you to be able to purchase rifle and ammunition. So he's 17. You have to get 18 to purchase a rifle. So here's the problem. Is it his rifle? Did he steal it? Does it belong to his dad, his brother? Because guess what? Somebody's got to go to jail with him. Somebody's supposed to go to jail with him and be charged for letting him get a hold of this damn rifle. So what are the laws in your city or state? What are the laws in your state? I want you to write everybody here in this damn tape. Get up right now. Go to your kid's room and look all through it. Get all the dope out. All, look for guns, weapons and dope. And get it all out their damn house. Get it out the house. Take it from them and lock up the guns. You see any firearms, lock them up and take them. Because these kids don't think. They just pull the damn trigger. Okay. That's, that's, that's your job for the day. Is to sweep the house. Okay. Let me try another question. Another question. If you 17... How do you drive hundreds of miles to another city? Whose car did you take? Who saw you load up the car with rifles and pistols? Who did, who knew you was going there? Did they say, where, where are you going? Oh, I'm going to the protest with my rifle. Okay, have fun, honey. Have fun. What, what, what kind of family is this? I'm sure we got more info that's going to come out later. And I'm, it's just terrible, man. This just don't make sense. I told you once, I told you twice. You don't go to a damn protest talking about I'm the police. I'm going to save a building. I, you can't steal the pop out of Walmart. I'm going to kill you if you do it. If you, you think like that, I need you to stop right now. Find you a fucking therapist. Find you a fucking therapist. I don't, you're not going to mess up now my neighborhood. I've, I'll shoot you right on the fucking top of your head. Put that pop down. You must comply. You're not the police. I don't care. I got the gun. You're going to comply or I'm going to kill you. 
I'm a new patriot. I just go to protest and kill people. Really, I just want to kill somebody any damn way. Because I'm a fucking psycho. So what happened for us to create this new patriot, this psychopath? I know what happened. You're not going to like this one. It's the people you listen to and the people you hang around. Take a look at the picture. Who is he with? Who is he hanging around? Just giving them these sick thoughts. Murder, murder, mayhem, mayhem. It's, it's not no rap music or nothing like that. It's your boy. Your boy is giving him these thoughts. That's part of his thought process. Oh, yeah, we, they trying to mess up our country. Go shoot them. Do what you know, you do what you want to do. So we're gonna have to turn down. We gotta stop this shit right now. <laughs>